I'm Dan Negroni and I'm the CEO of Fresh Healthy Vending and we're here in our corporate offices and we have the honor to speak with one of our newest franchisees, Niz Saab from Edmonton, Canada. And today we're going to talk about, well, learn a little bit more about him and of course learn why he picked Fresh Healthy Vending as a franchise and an opportunity and why he wanted to invest his time and money in what we believe is one of the hottest franchise concepts around. So Niz, welcome to San Diego. It's great to have you here. Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate it. It's yeah. gorgeous out here. It's gorgeous. We just had a nice lunch outside by the beach, right? Fantastic. Can't get better than that. Can't get better than that. So we've spent some time speaking before you made the decision to purchase um, your Fresh Healthy Vending franchise. Why Fresh Healthy Vending and what, why this franchise? What, what sung to you about this franchise? Well, I'll make a long story short. Uh, I've been practicing in, in uh, I've been studying human wellness for 16 years with my background in chiropractic and a certified wellness practitioner. And I was approached by some good friends that wanted to invest into a business. And they said, you know, we've got some ideas. And I mentioned to them, it's got to be something that I'm passionate about that's congruent with how I live my life. So I decided to do some research uh, for organic vending. It popped in my head uh, after uh, um, uh, a day out one day at a, at a car dealership where I, I needed to get some lunch. I was missing my lunch. It's the worst when you're in a car dealership and thirsty or hungry, right? You're in trouble too with the car dealership <laughs> there. So I, I um, was looking and I looked at the vending machine and I saw nothing in there that would give me any sort of health whatsoever. And I said, this is crazy. So I went home that night and I started doing some research and I looked at organic vending and your website. So you came actually up. searched organic vending. Organic vending is all I put in there. I little that I know that anything even existed. Right. And then I did my research. I looked at a lot of uh, not a lot. There's a few vending companies that are quite large in the United States. I found yours to be the largest. And then I did a little more research behind. It. I did some diligence and came up with uh, you guys being the most congruent with how I would practice my business. Which is which is what? Explain a little bit to what why why we related to you more than the others. It's more people-based than it is profit-based. I mean, there's great money to be made in an industry like this and seeing at its infancy as well, but it's more mission-based. The purpose is clear. It's not about, hey, let's see how much money we can make selling organic vending. It's like, let's see how many people we can help. And with that said, when you focus on the outcome, you never have to worry about the income. And so what attracted you to Fresh Healthy Vending versus the other guys? Well, I, after doing some research, I found that there, were, there was more talk about, hey, this is how much you can make, and guess what? And if you do this, you can double your profits. And with Fresh Healthy Vending, I never got that once. I got, this is why we do what we do, and here's our mission. And our mission is to help, and we believe that we have the best product and the best business structure. The support in the back end has been amazing up to date. Yeah, well, this, this is at least our definition of a franchise, which means we provide you the support and we, we take you and teach you the whole way. Yeah. And so we take it very seriously. It's a big commitment that we have to you. I mean, we spoke on the phone and now you're here kind of pressing the flesh and meeting everybody. And really, that's our commitment is to you. And because if you're not successful, guess what? We're not successful. It, it, what I w thought was really cool, and like I said, I've never dealt with a lot of franchises, but if franchises don't use this concept, they definitely should. It's the portal that you have online, which takes you through every step strategically, asks you how you're feeling at the step when you move on to graduate to the next step and so forth. Dealing with TJ from the beginning and then being handed next to Alex and so forth and then talking to you, that whole progression was very comfortable. There wasn't anything in there that made you think, okay, is this something I really want to do? Because at every stage, you had that time to assess if this is where I'm, if I'm ready to go with this, is this congruent with what I want to do, is the business structure what I want to do? So it was always a, 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 a very well-structured progression to making you feel extremely comfortable. And, and how do you feel about your investment now? You've, oh, you've yeah. made a big investment, right? I you think know, 22 machines. Yeah, you know so. what? And it was, it was one of those things, too, where it, it was... I felt comfortable from the get-go because I was very passionate about it. But again, it's a business. Sure. And in business, you want to make sure that the people you're doing business with, who's part of your team, are congruent with you as well. And it's been nothing but uh, uh, extraordinary. I'm very uh, impressed. And uh, I, like I said earlier, if franchises don't do it this way, they should. So in coming here, you probably had some expectations. I mean, did they meet your expectations? You think that sometimes people will, to say politely, act in a certain way to persuade you politely to, hey, we have the best product here, which I think is fair. That's what you're doing. You're in sales. But, you know, when I came here and I met all of you, there's no difference. What you were on the phone and the email, you still are. And I just love that because I've been involved in situations where people seem to put on a different hat for different occasions, and I'm not a big fan of that. That makes me a bit weary in moving forward with someone in business. You guys have been completely the same from day one to, to, to meeting you face to face. And it's like I've known you with even just a few phone calls. I can talk to you like a friend, not just a, a franchisee. 
we hope to be able to commit to you to continue to do that through your whole process as a franchisee and that's really what we're all about here and, and I think you've met enough of the people here you've met the whole team the locations department the products people our franchise business consultant and that's really our commitment to you is to invest our resources in getting you the best people to help you solve any challenges you might have and uh, continue the partnership so we're excited to have you I'm excited to yeah, be well, here that, and it's it's, uh, it's gonna be a great marriage of 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 of, uh, of your company with 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 my group, and I'm really looking forward to turning over that uh, um, these misconceptions of organic food. Canada is at its infancy right now, and this is huge, and it's becoming big in Canada. So we're really excited to be right at the beginning of it. Yeah, you're our largest in Canada now, so congratulations Thank you very for much, that. Yeah. And uh, we're real excited about your territory for sure. But we do have four or five franchisees in there that have kind of done the groundwork. We've learned Absolutely. a lot about Canada. It's a little bit different. Yeah. But we're, we're totally excited to have you on board and, and be a part of the team. Thank you. So thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. And um, just tell everyone a little bit about the process. Appreciate it. Congratulations. My pleasure. Thanks, thank Dan. Thank you.